Computer Management – Different Types of Files There are hundreds if not thousands of different types of files. These are some that you are most likely to come across. Firstly, there are archived files. Here several files are stored as one file. This is when the files are not going to be used and need to be put away safely. Then there are compressed files. They usually have an extension of .zip or .zip. These files have been made smaller to save storage space. There are three main types of text files. Firstly, there's plain text with the extension .txt and then if the extension is RTF, it stands for Rich Text Format. Some formatting can be applied to this text. A CSV file is a comma-separated file. Let's just expand this so we can see the type. Comma-separated values mean that the entire file has been separated with some kind of marker. These files are used when Data needs to be exported from one program to another. Web pages are saved in files with the extension .html or .xtml. These are also special types of text files. But when they are read by a browser, they are converted into web pages. Application data for software such as Microsoft Office has the extensions MDB for an older database and ACCDB for Microsoft 2010. There are spreadsheet files, XLS, PowerPoint presentations, PPT, and Word files. OpenOffice also has databases, presentation files, spreadsheet files, and text files. Applications are programs that could be run on the computer. These file extensions are .com and .exe. There are different formats of graphic files. JPEG or JPG, BMP, bitmaps. Let's just expand this. PNG, which is network graphics, and GIF. Movies are generally very large files. Extensions include MPEG, AVI, and WMV. Animation files are usually flash files or shockwave files. Sound files include MP3s and MP4s as well as Windows Media Audio files with extensions WMA and WAV. And finally we have a universal type of file. PDF is a portable document format file. Most software can save a file in this format, so it can be read even if you do not have the program which was used to create it. To read such a file, you need to download software called Adobe Acrobat. Let's open this file and read it. This file could have been created in any program, a word processor, a desktop publisher for instance. Close the PDF file. Remember that files come in many different types.